Corey, dude, have we got a game for some people. This is an interesting <laughs> one. This is a game about... Dude, it's it's so hard to kind of get into. First of all, this is The Wreck. Yes. And The Wreck is essentially about a car crash. But you are living through Janone's life experiences, right? And she's kind of explaining her past experiences from childhood to parenthood and beyond kind of what this whole situation is unraveled right off the hop there is a warning saying this is some mature subject matter that may not kind of go for everybody mm, yeah. this is a i almost call want to call it a graphic novel but it's not right like kind of it feels like i'm playing a graphic novel and living out that experience in a sense so it's a narrative game that's the focus of it some of it i liked some of it i didn't and we will get to some of these things Corey. but what are your initial thoughts well, like you said, right at the beginning of the game, as soon as you fire it up, it lets you know you're going to be dealing with some heavy stuff here. You know, as yeah. far as Junon's life's concerned, we're in the point of it where her career stalled. You know, she's dealing with loss, uh, a breakup. And now, unfortunately, the beginning of the game is her mother is now in the hospital. And when she arrives at the hospital, she's given the information that she has actually been entrusted with making the decision of, What's going to happen to her mother? Because currently right now she's incapacitated in the hospital and she doesn't have the ability to make the choice herself. And this yeah. was a surprise for our main character, especially because of the relationship she had with her mother. And that's what this game is all about. Kind of the emotional journey we go through here of her life and all the things she's been dealing with and all the things she's starting to deal with and kind of come to terms with. And it's a very interesting style of game. I mean, I've played a few yeah. of these games before, but not so kind of negatively centered, I will say, because this is where, you know, we're, this is the worst day possible for this girl you know what i mean i feel bad for her but they really try to kind of pull you into her shoes the entire time and i thought the way the game presented that was actually done fairly uniquely i like the idea yeah. of how the text comes up on screen and we kind of click through the text and certain things depending on where we're at we go through memories and we start to kind of remember certain things or just recall something about the particular part of the story that we're in and i kind of like the way they presented that where you kind of get to go a loop through and every time you kind of loop through you're picking out a, a different part of that memory that she then kind of goes on to explain I really like that aspect of it, but I'm not gonna lie, this was a really depressing game to play, man. Like, there's not a whole lot of joy here, and that isn't gonna be for everybody, but I think someone that's looking for more of kind of a, a novelistic kind of approach to a game where you get to play this more like you're reading a story, I think that yeah. will will kind of draw certain people in. But the content, like I said, it is pretty, pretty depressing. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I had to take a break because of the content and what we were dealing with. Sure. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm a little I'm just away. too bummed out <laughs> right now. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish this yeah. story. So I played through in two sittings and I just felt like maybe I didn't need to go through the car accident 15 times. You know what I mean? Like it just, <laughs> yeah, it felt, yeah. that was actually the most repetitive part to me. And it, and it was the part I wanted to get over with the fastest just to get to the next memory the next kind of step through the story that was kind yeah. of my biggest complaint dude the biggest thing for me is it crashed five times dude this is not an intense game to play through yeah it is intense as far as what we we're experiencing but when it comes to the game mechanic heavy dude that is not there five times it, it happened crashed. once for like, me too oh man i was i was infuriated by the time i was done i'm like i just want to get this over with I just yeah. want to, it took me six hours to complete this game oh. because it took, dude, when it crashed, it takes you back, back through a whole section and a half. And I'm like, I got to do this again. Oh. Are you kidding me? Five times. Yo, not cool. Like that was so infuriating for me to get past that part. Mm -hmm. The story is what drove me forward to wanting to finish, find out what the outcome was, get to the outcome. And I went, huh? I kind of figured, but really, man, oh, and just kind of one of those things is like, dude, part of me is like, cool other part not so much yeah i know what i have to do what i should do it wasn't that long ago that i could write this kind of scene without breaking a sweat i step into the room Corey, definitely a unique game here with the wreck it is something that's not going to be hitting for everybody but it's going to have certain moments that yo this is this is some serious stuff that people will experience what do you score in this game well, you know what? I'm going to give this one a 7.5. I thought about it for a while, but honestly, this is a $20 game. The experience isn't yeah. long, but it is deep, and it kind of leaves you with something in the end, I think. You know, if, if you're looking for these types of games, 
This is one that I thought was presented well. I think they did a great job as far as the voice acting goes. You kind of get immersed in the characters. But there are a few things here that aren't going to be for everybody. But it might not be for me, but it's definitely going to be for other people out there. So I can comfortably say this one is a 7.5. Nice. For me, I'm a little bit lower. I'm there with a 6.5. Those five crashes really yeah. hurt my experience. I, I figured it extended the gameplay by almost two hours because of it, right? And that just stuck around a little bit too long for me. I think the story and the way it's told is actually really unique and really cool. And then the whole bathroom scene, I just didn't like at all. I just found myself clicking. I'm like, get me out of this thing. Yeah, but overall, I think, you know, there's some pretty cool things here that are going on in the way the whole thing is told overall. It's very, very unique. Yeah, I'm right there. 6.5. Everyone can change. I have to leave it all behind.